Hey y'all, it's Grannon, and welcome to Tale of Five Districts, Episode 3. I did a little research on doggy talents, like I promised during the time off, and I installed, oops, I think I'm, am I going the right way? Yeah, I don't even know my way around my own house. I installed the most updated version of doggy talents as well. First thing you might notice, Bitsy's changed colors a little bit, and she's wearing a pink collar. What you might also notice is that she doesn't have an eye for incapacitated anymore. She is A, A for aggressive. Let's go ahead and click, right click on her with our stick, not our bone, and take a look. Um, I did spend one more set of Happy Eater because when I was playing around with this, make sure everything was okay, I wanted to go ahead and give her three ranks of Happy Eater so that she would eat um, zombie flesh and so to do that I went ahead and do that but then you'll think but I thought that was supposed to be three points and you only had nine I guess the way it figured the with the new version I'm not real sure but anyways I had ten points so now we have seven what I did I changed her to doggy text her, which just means doggy texture and he changed her to doggy texture 6 that's what gave her the pink collar and now when we change from aggressive to berserker to docile you see this letter up here is changing so because she's no longer incapacitated you can also change the length of her muzzle and the length of her tail or legs and things over here I'm not going to change with, change that any you can also um, get her to obey others if you loan her out, if you're using playing it in multiplayer, I'm assuming. Unless uh, we're playing in single player, that doesn't really apply. Alright, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and spin these seven points. And um, let's see. I, I read a lot about some of these things. This is speed. This is how it kind of like gives her a feather fall type of effect. Um, everything else I think that I said is correct. Shepherd Dog will um, have her round up livestock if you need. Um, Pest Fighter was a neat one that I didn't know what was. This has damage to those obnoxious little silver fish. Um, creeper Sweeper not only with enough points will allow her to attack creepers but it will make her growl when creepers are nearby which that's really cool because you know sometimes I get oblivious to my surroundings mm, no not me <laughs> um, puppy eyes this was something I didn't know what was this was one this one is for how she reacts to the uh, what do you call those things the the testificates in the um, the NPC villages and they'll give you they'll see all her sweet puppy eyes and they'll give you presents um, pretty much everything else I think was basically what I said it was da, 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 da. but you know you can go to the the website and really read on all of it but let's see what else do I want to put into I'm pretty content with Happy Eater being at three I don't I don't know that I need it to go any higher so right now we're just gonna leave it right there um, Fisher dog she's already given me one fish and the biggest reason I like her to have Fisher dog is because I can't stand a fish but I want to be able to catch a cat later on so this one is gonna be enough for me as well um, bed finder not so important now because if you read the comments um, Josh, the guy who did the challenge, Lindy Hop fan, Josh said I could put any eye, ba I mean not any eye, raise mini map back so I'm not going to be quite as lost. Um, I think there's, so I, there won't be any more points there. So that's the points I've spent so far. Um, let's see, seven. This makes her have like a, like a fire breathing attack. That would be kind of fun. Um, quick healer, rescue dog. Rescue dog allows her to help me if I'm starting to die. So I think we're going to put... Uh, what's in there? Let's give her creepers. Here we go. And we could save that one, but we can train her up by giving her treats. Right now I'm not going to really worry about that, but I do want to go ahead and spend all these. And just to make it kind of 
Oh, Hunter Dog. This one, um, you have to be maxed out for that to work. I'm going to look into that. You may have to be maxed out for this one to work, but it allows a, a bigger percentage, a, a percentage for a chance for whenever she kills something for it to drop their loot twice. And it may require to be maxed out for that to work. And if that's the case, I probably won't waste my points in that. So I'm going to just save this one for right now. We've got a lot of points now. And we'll do that. Alright, see. Alright, so what we need to do is make the warehouse and make the the uh, the room for the apiary um, and get some animals going and then start some forestry farms. So since we're gonna have to let's see. I'm just gonna make a really, really simple um, what you call it? Uh, boy, I cannot think. The last couple of days have been really rough on me there. My brain just doesn't want to work. A really simple um, room for the for the warehouse. Uh, so I'm going to get some cobblestone. I don't have very much. I'll probably go get some more off camera and get that going. Um, but while I take a really quick break, and uh, break from recording, but not break from me, because I'm going to go do that. We're going to go ahead and, um, oh, there goes my text. Um, we're going to smelt this copper because, as Josh reminded me, the first district is not just vanilla. It's just that I can't use industrial craft. So in my brain, I was going vanilla, vanilla. There's no use for copper right now. But that's not true because forestry machines are going to need the copper. So I'm going to go ahead and let that uh, smelt up while we're waiting. All right, guys, I'll be right back. So we're back. Um, and I've just about finished the very ugly uh, storage shed out there. See that little gray building out there? Uh, I had it like that, but I think I'll probably just make that one solid piece. Um, but I'll worry about that offline. So the next thing that we're going to do is make our, make our room for our apiary. But I want to make that colorful, like I said in I think the last video, or maybe the first one. And so that's going to require me making a little bit, even the most primitive wool farms, just a bunch of sheep sitting in a pen that um, you color and shear. And that's okay. I'm all right with that. Uh, so what we'll probably do right now is just make some apiaries, sit them in a section where we're going to put the apiary, and then we're going to, and I'll bring over some sheep off camera and put them in the pen and start getting some pink and purple and all, all that. Anything that I can make. I think you can make all the colors with, um, with without mods. So I'll make up some wool and we'll get that ready. But for right now, we do want to go gather some beads. Some beads? Some bees. So we need to make a scoop. And it's made by a Y formation of the sticks and a piece of wool. I'll set that right there because I'm going to go put that one stone, one missing stone over there. Um, I wanted a few more scoops, but it was the only piece of wool I had, which reminded me that I don't have any shears yet. So I'm going to go ahead and make some shears so I can shear all the sheep. And let's go do it. First, let's go put this one piece in. Alright, so that very ugly thing is done. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and fill that in around the top because I really don't like that. And down here, I need to fill in some more dirt. Okay. Well, I saw a few. Whoa, I see a skelly. And that reminds me I need to have my command beam out. Oh, well, he was so quickly died. Let's get my command beam. Oh, you can tell my computer is not happy. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do that. Save it. And let's pick up these goodies. And go find us. Oh, I forgot to tell Bitsy to come with. Come on, Bitsy. You want to come with? Alright. Oh, that just <laughs> first one just fed you. 
As you saw, she ate the zombie flesh, which is really good, because what else am I going to do with that much zombie flesh in a regular map where you have plenty of food? So let's go find us some bees. If I remember correctly, there were some bees over this way. And before we shear that sheep, we're going to make life a little simpler, since I'm going to be shearing for pink. Make us some rose red, make us a piece of white, and then make us four pinks. Oh, we're going to run out of space now. Um, do, 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 do. Won't need that, probably. Uh oh, he's growling. Where? where? Oh, I thought I heard him growling. It was the opalisk. Um, let's put the shears here. We're going to have a pink sheep, pink sheep, and shear her. Now I can use the pink sheep wool for uh, another scoop if I need to, but if not, it'll be sitting there for when I make my apiary. Alright, pretty sure, yep, I don't know if you can see it over there, but there is a an AP, uh, a hive over there. We're going to go grab that. I also hear a spider. But oh, let me show you. See, this pig is not a threat, but I can say, go get the pig! You right click, it like throws a snowball, and he goes to get the pig. Which is really good for me, because if you've watched any of mine, I have more trouble killing the guys that try to run away from me than I do the ones that um, that want to eat me. <laughs> hmm. That looks nasty. I don't remember a creeper blowing up there, but that looks like that's probably what happened. Alright, get my scoop in my hand. And get me some bees. Hey Bitsy, did you drop a fish? Not this time. Only one point, so you're not going to drop them that many. Anything else out here? I'm going to make it sit here and watch this the whole time. Oh, there's another one. It's just about when I was going to turn it off. It knew it, and it's going to give me another one. I'd like to get one or two more hives if I could before we go make air. What is that up there? Oh, just a cow. Oh, hell. Lots of cows down there when I go to bring things over. You can see that sand over there where I pulled out a lot of sand. Hey, cow. Moo to you, too. Well, hmm, some chickens. Did I see an egg? Yep, grab that egg. Oh, there's another one over there. The whole lot of livestock over here. Don't worry about dying this one just yet. Just grab this one. Oh, I'm certainly not going to die this one. He's black. Three pieces there. And those. Ooh, what we oh my my my. Don't let anything knock me down in there. Yep, oh, he already got his wool back. Should have died him. Alright guys, well I'm gonna cut out again. And I'm going to wrangle up some of these little critters. I'm going to bring over at least two of everything. Probably just two of everything. Because um, I probably won't be breeding too much for uh, food. It'll just be if any of the challenges need it. 
um, as well as just the fact that I'll have one. So I'll probably bring two of everything except sheep and there will probably be quite a few sheep at, at first and um, then I'll thin them out later after I get a sheep supply built up. But I'm going to do that, put that over there and then as I get, and then after I get a bunch of, sh of, of wool together then I'll cut back in and we'll build our apiary and our little room for that. Okay, so I will see you guys in a little hey bit. Guys, I'm back for a bit. <coughs> I haven't done much of anything yet. I did go gra gather a few things, gather some more wood. What I do want to tell you is be careful. Do not accidentally attack a Thumbcraft Wisp before you're ready because one chewed my face. Um, I did manage to get away from it and get in the house and all, but um, had I not been able to get back to the house, it, I, I'm sure it would have killed me. I, I, I have no doubt. So, one of the things you'll learn about me is that I have a lot of crafting tables around because I'm kind of lazy like that. And let's go ahead and make a few more fences. You'll see here, I mean, you can see here that I have started building some fences to um, put my livestock in. Um, because I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put everything, I'm using that wall as one of my things. Uh, also at this point it's going to have all the livestock in one section. Bitsy, you're in the way baby. Move. She did save us from a creeper. I left the door open one time and she's growling. We're upstairs. I don't see anything. What's going on? So I went downstairs a little tentatively and sure enough there's a creeper downstairs. She doesn't have enough points to attack it but she did stop me from getting a hole blown smack in the middle of my house because that wouldn't have been much fun. Bitsy honey, you are so getting in the way. And why are you doing that? Not you, bit, not Bitsy the, <coughs> the fence. I guess it's the way I'm standing. Let's put this this way. There we go. All right. Let's put some more out here. And <sighs> Bitsy, my darling, seriously, you are so in the way. Put these right here for now. We'll need a few more, which I will do off screen. Let's go ahead. I've gotten a few iron buckets full of water. So let's go ahead and do this. Oh, one of the things I did want to ask, I'm really bad about letting my animals out of my farms. And since most of the farms are just for, for looks, it won't be that big a deal. But um, for my sheep, I'm forever letting them out. Is there any kind of clue, any kind of ideas, any anything on the, the web that you the, out there that you have any, oh, what's the word I'm looking for, any designs for regular pens, and I'm not talking about the little tiny one by twos for doing wool farms, which I may or may not do later on, but I'm talking about just some kind of design for getting in and out of your pens without letting them out. Okay, um, right now I'm going to make a little two by two infinite water, and don't waste the dirt. And fill these back up. Bitsy, get your nose out of there. I forgot to put, not forgot to put, forgot to get, oh good, just enough cobble to make a hoe. So there's our hoe. And I'm going to make a very, very small um, wheat farm right now because this is mostly just to draw the, um, what do you call it, draw the, the animals over. A little bit later on we'll expand this out, but for right now this is just a little tiny one. And I may even expand it out here, I haven't decided, but I haven't really given it much thought, so for now, Bitsy. You're starting to remind me of the real Bitsy. I love that dog, but she was always getting underfoot. <laughs> I think I've got about 21 seeds, so let's just do a 2x2 two two all the way around. 
<clears throat> and we'll go from there. You're about to get a hold of the face. No, it isn't very fun. She gave me a whole bunch of fish. So soon we'll be getting... We'll be looking for a, uh, a cat to keep in the house. Then the creepers won't come annoy me in the house. Let's go ahead and plant these. Arg. Did I have any bones on me? So I can go ahead and grow some so we can, uh, bitsy, bitsy, bitsy. Oh well. Did you drop me a fish? Probably not. <laughs> Alright. Did I have any bones? Okay, I left the bones back at the house. Alright, well, that filled up all my seeds, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to make some more fence and start that, and we'll be back when I put some animals in the pen. Talk to you guys want, later. I'm back, and I want to get a couple more things done before we wrap up this video. And I should have done this before I turn the recording back on, but let's go make it day. Alrighty, we're going to make our bee apiaries and um, the building to put them in. <coughs> Let's see if I can remember. Let's see, apiary. Alright, we're going to need four tin gears, some glass, and a sturdy machine. A sturdy machine takes eight bronze. Not like that. What did I do? I hit the wrong thing. No. Oh well. Pretty sure I remember bronze. I think it's like this. And this, yeah, and that gives you four, so I'm kind of low on metals right now. I went out and got a little bit more tin and copper. Actually, I got a good bit more than this because I've made two apiaries already. <coughs> um, and I'm just making another one right now so we can see how it's done. And I went out and got a little bit more so that I could get this going. And there's my sturdy machine. I don't have any glass on me. Grab four of those. This really needs cleaning out. Here's my other two apiaries. I'll go ahead and pick those up. I need a lot of sticks. I'm going to need some cobble. I have that. Some raw tin. Ooh. Four tin oh. gears. Yikes. That's going to need 16 more tin. <clears throat> hmm. Isn't that what it said? Oh, that's gonna be yucky. We may just use the two we have then. Ugh. So I'm not sure where any tin is right now. Alright, well that's the recipe. We're just gonna use the two apiaries I have because I'm going to run out of tin real quick. And um, let's go out there and let's do some building. I do want to show you a few things. Alright, Bitsy, come on. You hungry? No, you're fine. I still haven't put the door in, finished that wall. But I have enough sheep to make you crazy. And one pig. If I remember correctly, the uh, the guideline says I just have to have a, some simple pens for livestock. Does I, do I have to have a lot of pigs and chickens? and Or can I just have sheep? <laughs> but there's my, my sheep. And I sat here and I walked round and round and round picking up picking up wool so that I could have plenty of wool to build our apiary machines. <coughs> I'm excusing me. Our apiary room. Harvest some of our wheat. Also need to make a reed farm. A what do you call it? Um, manually harvested like we're doing right now. Reed farm. Oh lovely. This is pretty full. Okay, let's just stick these on the ground for a minute. 
So we're going to put those, uh, replant those, and then we'll be able to pick it back up. We got one too many, but that's okay. Can go on the ground. Okay, and did I actually, but did I pick up the wheat? Yes, I did. Alright. <coughs> So let's go make the room to put our apiaries in there. I also went and got one more set of bees. It's kind of funny. With the extra bees add-on, it seems like I can't find any regular bees. I think all three of my bees were from the extra bees. Which is kind of weird. Alright, let's check my biome here. Make sure we're good. Alright. I also need to check and see if the sickle... I don't think it's called a sickle. I forget what it's called. Um, but I need to see if that is in forestry and if it's industrial machine if it's industrial craft I can't use it yet but if it's forestry I can use it to clean up this yard faster okay yeah I'm only gonna do a basic of this right now probably or maybe I'll just do it all and then speed it up who knows But let's move Bitsy. Let's make this. At least make the bottom. Mm, it needs to be five though, so I can have a a door. <coughs> Anybody seen uh, Mead's SMP adventures and seen my pink house? <laughs> That's what this is kind of kind of be like. Maybe not exactly, but be very similar. And I'm going to need a lot more wool to finish this. But for now, I messed something up. Well, because it's supposed to be five. But for now, that'll be the base. I'm going to leave this grass floor because we need to be able to grow flowers and things for our bees. We also put, this will be the door right here. So let's put our apiaries down, the two that we have. Oh, I left one of my princesses and drones back there anyway. Wow, I am just terribly failing. Okay, let's do this. Let's put our apiary here and one here. And because we don't have any honey drops, we can't do a bealizer yet and find out exactly any special things about these marbled princesses and drones. I've never used them before, but I'm going to assume that since I got them in a normal s zone, they'll be fine here. I'm waiting for them to tell me that they need flowers. But reach your bees. Okay, well, it fusses at me. I'm sure it will. I can go back and get the others real quick. This, like I said, this is the first time I've worked with the extra bees mods. Uh, in fact, I'm not very well versed on the bees at all. I've only recently started playing with those in my SMP world. Really enjoying it a lot. I know some people like it, some people don't. But um, I'm enjoying it. I think it's kind of neat. I was never a, bio a biology student in high school or college. I took physics and chemistry. But I'd like Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, after that little bit of technical difficulty, I think I've gotten us back to where we are, or at least close enough. And our marbled bees are now complaining they have no flowers, and I'm going to assume, at least for now, that this is the kind of flowers that they need. <coughs> Sorry, my throat is still not 100%. Still a little bit of a, a warble in it. Let's put a couple more. And you know that they'll start growing them soon and we'll have plenty more. That should do it. Let's see. More flowers. No flowers. Come on. Bitsy, what's the matter? Why do our bees not say they don't have any flowers? Okay, there we go. So they're all good. So we're going to finish this little apiary house, whatever that's called, up off, off camera. And um, just clean up a few things over there on the storage. We can also make some chests. We're going to use the iron chest mod and um, fix that. Die, Mr. Spider. Um, and get everything out of the house and get it ready. What we're going to do at the next, 
on for the next episode is we're going to start one of our farms and um, I noticed that in the challenge it mentioned something about getting peat by hand. I'm not exactly sure what that is but we'll figure that out. If I can use the sickle I'm going to get one of those so I can mow the lawn. And I'm um, going to start a reed farm and that might be it for all the basic things and then we will I believe the next part is to get a miscraft world for this world but I'm not positive on that one so don't hold me to it but I will check into it see what we've got going on and go from there alright guys have a great day and if I don't see you before the weekend I'll see you sometime Saturday talk to you later bye bye now